Like you would have been keen, I don't think the guy playing him would have. Mechanical rhythm? I don't know that one. That's me whenever I play Step Mania with my keyboard. Alright, game one of Grand Finals. Poffert versus Turn Up. And this is a matchup that's pretty common in Perth. Especially used to be, because we used to have like a times where like Turn Up and Poffert were like the number one and number two on the PR. Even then, it's still like a pretty common matchup. These two see each other. They've seen each other in winners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, it's a thing. It's like top four players. It's so interchangeable as to who you're going to see. Probably top five, actually. I have a question to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, who designed the stream layout? Look at where the L is on Turn Up. Why is it there? Um, it won't move. <laughs> it won't budge. It won't. No matter how many times we tell it. Trust me, I've, I've, been, I've tried to fix this on so many occasions and it just doesn't work. Oh my god, give me like a week. I'll design like a fancy ass stream layout for you. Do it. Because literally I just <laughs> stole the one from DEC and I revamped it. It's not too bad. Trying to use the up B there to... Um, what? Oh, it's side B again. Pop the one. Oh, yep. We don't take those. That was nasty. That's what I call a jazz ledge guard. <laughs> you like jazz? I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm partial to jazz too. Ooh, I'm trying to fish for the forward air there. Doesn't quite get it. Ooh, the Whoa, combo in the back air. Such a cool combo. Turn up knows this character. Yeah, getting those like attack cancel back airs is so integral with this character. 50%, as you do. Yeah. His damage output at low percents is so wild. Even at high percent, like he's able to rack up so much damage. You're talking about Greninja or Turn Up, because both applies. Yeah, oh, honestly, Turn Up is just one of those players that, like, regardless of what character he can play, it's just like, surprise! You're because, gonna take a like, lot of damage. When you bring, like, your character to the top level and you start playing, like, top level players, if you have, like, some level of dominance, you end up just going, well, I just wanna. F I might as well just play other characters. Yeah, basically. It's like a common thing for top players to do. Except Puppet for some reason. Yeah, just Poppet just is spending his time honing his craft with this character because it, it works for him. He's getting good. Yeah. I, I think he might crack it one day, you know, just might, might make it to be a top player. You're saying he's not already? I, not I with tried, that attitude. I tried to say it with as much bit of sarcasm as I possibly could. What? Ooh, what be out of shield? That's right. Send at a wacky angle. They're driving Luigi in the venue again. Oh, of course they are. Thank oh, you. Uh, classic move. So I'd be not quite gonna kill there. He's mine now. But um Our best strings. Yeah, I remember the days where like Jordan was trying to just pick up the new character, trying to work out who it was that he was gonna main before he picked up Lucina. Mm. New character over It was week. like Ness Pichu. Yeah, then he then he played Warrior for a bit, uh Game and Watch. Those are the ones that I just remember. Yeah, Smash. That's Smash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being in the middle of the stage, that's a pretty pop up thing actually. <laughs> I've seized him. He's no more, don't worry. <laughs> it, it's gone now, so no Luigi's in the venue. So, some nerd was playing Mario Kart Live in the venue, so I've taken their Luigi. <laughs> I think like that actually distracted me one time I was on the street and like I didn't catch a snake C4 or something. Yeah, we need a band Luigi jumping around the venue. Especially in stream room. You go to like your first tournament, you see the rules, Mario Kart Live is banned. Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Who hurt you, Sorrento? <laughs> Luigi oh, stole the rain trap there. It's a battlefield, what do you reckon? What's the thought? Um, I think this is pretty good for Lucina because it gives her a lot of options to land against Greninja. That's true. Because I think because Greninja is so fast, it's going to be a bit of a rough time for Lucina to try and get back down to the stage. That turn up has been like doing a lot of juggles with his combo game recently, so yeah. like, I think that's the whole process. But then again, Greninja is also pretty spicy on this stage. That's Not true. This. It's not like a very polarizing stage pick, I think, in this matchup. No, I think it's pretty 50 50. It's just very much player dependent in how they decide to play at the stage. Look at those uppies! He just knows. Nice neutral beat, covering the up there. Look at that, a third one! As you do. Stop! Oh, the down air's ending to left, hello. That's a DI check right there. Gotta go for the down air, doesn't quite land it. Very close. 
I like how even on like recovery mix-ups, Puppet's ledge, uh, ledge guarding, I think it is? Yeah, ledge guarding, yeah. yeah. like his ledge guarding, he'll still be able to mix it up. Down smash killed, hello? That's down smash? I'm so used to when a frog does that animation, it's an up smash. <laughs> oh, that's the up, okay, yeah. That's, that's wacky, man. It is a smash attack, it would kill. Yeah, the up B again, as you do. Ooh, back Lo air. Lovely back air. No commentator has ever said that before. I don't oh, noise it. back air. Oh, no, you're good backward aerial. Lovely mode from Moshina. Yeah, we love a bit of Luckina around here. Luckina and Greninja. Look at the way he uses up airs to cover platforms. He does it like every time and it still impresses me. Yeah, Lucina Sword is quite large, so... Oh! That was spicy. Nice two frame. Kef smash, baby. Very large move. I didn't realize I hit a low ledge. As far as I did. The more you know. Unless Greninja might have bopped up a little bit because of the side move. I don't know how this character works. It's a frog. Both these players could have a competition on stream where they eat a block of cheese and I could still be completely invested in them doing the same thing for five minutes. It's... Oh, great oh. contest there from Popper. Just be like, no, no forward air for you, so I hit you with my own forward air. Even with the no tech, he still comes back though, so... Ooh, very nice Tomahawk. Grabbing it through, turn up off stage. What does he do? Stage before. Grab. Popper is ledge trapping. What does he do though? Thank you, Analyst Tam, for knowing everything about this video game. Why are you not commentating? Because last time Tam commentated, he was with me and he was just giving me death stares for all my jokes. And As I, he I should, I don't give you enough death stares. Oh, living, great DI. Look at that spacing with the jumps. Okay, doesn't take it. Just get slapped with a wet foot, as you do. Oh, great drift there. Mm. Poppet is really good at knowing how to like recover against Greninja. Look at the micro movements! It's like... Poppet's just playing so patient right now. Turn up trying to fish for something to get a hit in any which way. Back air sending him right across the stage. Oh, that up air so large! It's big! Hello! There's a reason he uses it to cover platforms. Can you counter the water? I uh, don't think so because it's like a wind box essentially. Yeah, it's up just control. a wind box, isn't it? Yeah. Could Tom bring this back? Because water box and wind, wind box kind of have similar properties, but like wind boxes just like have different hit boxes as such. Like water boxes only work based I on like where the water is. I thought they were just wind boxes. I think they're slightly different things. But don't quote me. Nick? No, doesn't even take it. Great DI. This could be anything. That's uh, the ultimate engine just being like, yeah, nah, we're dead, but no. Great engine. Cool game. 1-1. One, one. See, when Rivals does it, right, when it does, like, the purple galaxy effect, it has two visions. Mm -hmm. It has the kill spark, and then it has the purple kill spark, which only appears if the game detects that you couldn't DI it. Okay, good to know. Because that game is programmed. So basically, the purple one is just like, yeah, now nah, you're screwed. Versus the other one's like, yeah, now nah, you, can, you, can, you can redeem this. Yeah, the purple one is like... You cannot recover. Except for that one clip where somebody did. Anyway, game three. You're not getting him back. Yeah, he's mine now. <laughs> Alright, Town and City. Your dad voice scares me, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying earlier I would make a great dad. Because I would probably do something like, oh, the kids would be like, oh, Dad, can we have McDonald's? I'd be like, we have McDonald's at home. But then I would Uber Eats McDonald's, so it's actually at home. You know? Classic move. What are your thoughts on this stage for this? Uh, big. Yeah, big. I only fact When I think of this stage, I only factor in the fact that it's big. And, like, I don't consider the platforms at all. Because they yeah. they're there half the time. So I think of this stage as a big flat. Mm -hmm. That being said... Jar wants you to do that voice again. Oh, that kills! <laughs> Hello! As you do, keep on carry on. But yeah, I feel like this is a good stage for Greninja because it gives um, kind of the ability to be able to maneuver around to try and get out of the way of what Lucina's shenanigans are trying to do. And uh, just <laughs> get pineapples. You're sick! Plus, um, having the smaller side mm. last zones as well means that uh, Poppet's infamous. Side B can do a lot of things here as well, so it's a good stage for both characters. Infamous? Side B again? Pop it oh, Catching the air dodge with neutral B. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, shuriken is rather large. He has been throwing out like a lot of shuriken, but I think that's like one of the few that's actually core. Mm -hmm. That is so big. Yeah, shuriken's one of those moves that's like partway point between non committal and over committal. It's like Greninja, what are you meant to do against something like up there? It's just so massive. Yeah, I think one of the few things you might be able to do is just like neutral air dodge through, but after that point, like pop will cotton onto that pretty quickly. Yeah, but like any character can neutral air dodge. Yeah. He wants that. Oh, he's going for it. Very cheeky though. He went deep for it. Oh, back air. Wow. Yeah, you were saying Town and City would have done that. Yeah, that was very quick. It'll just run by so fast, I don't know what I was seeing. Yeah, like one second it was neutral, and the next second Frog is dead. Mm. It's like the whole like Cane Toad situation in Queensland all over again. One minute the Frogs are there, and next minute, oh, they're all handbags. <laughs> don't look at me with those eyes, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I disapprove, actually. Alright. We have Frog Hunter versus the Cane Toad next. What does this button do? Hopefully turn it on. Yeah, where's the off switch? How do you hunt cane toads with a sword? Um, with great difficulty. And, and another thing, why are we back on town? <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like this turn up is pretty confident on the stage. Oh no, that's a sync button. God help me. <clears throat> Video games. Yeah, I think just like using the small the shurikens as a go in this situation. It's like, it's... It doesn't do the damage, it doesn't do the, um, what I'm looking for, shield stun, but you also don't have a chance of getting, well, as much of a chance of getting punished by Lucina. But uh, she is rather fast. She has been eating her wheat fix and uh, is quite athletic. I'm pretty sure she's like a seven a morning kind of girl. I, I like did not understand like half of what you said there until the wheat fix statement. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> How many wheat fix do you reckon she's had? I reckon she's a seven kind of girl. What the f Who has seven wheat picks? Richard Ponting has nine. He's just trying to land on the platform. Right. But I'm pretty sure uh, Greninja's only like a two kind of wheat picks guy, you know? Um, More partial to his flies than his wheat picks. That is true. Down tilt into fair, a Greninja classic. I. You know what? I reckon Greninja's the type of guy that puts sugar on his wheat picks. <laughs> To be fair, I'm the kind of guy that puts sugar I am also sugar. that guy. <laughs> we, are, we are all just frogs deep Like, this comes from a place of, like, personal feeling. Look at this ledge trapping. Puppet's ledge trapping is actually ridiculous. Like, he can't get The ledge trump? And he's so good at knowing when to ledge trump to mix up his opponents. He doesn't do yeah. it every time. He just does it a tasteful amount. I wish I knew how to ledge trump. Go for double down tilt. You never double dip. What you doing? Keep your chips out, my sauce full. When you've already gone through like seven wee bicks and now you're double dipping? Come on. <laughs> you don't need that. He's trying to stack on the carbs. Again! Ooh, uppy! Audio cut out for a bit. Is the stream audio there? Chat? Let us know if it's not there anymore. There is nothing I can do about it because I'm cringe. Nice jab. Just, just a uh, get off me full. Look at that full up, it's so big. Oh, they're so good at catching things. Because I think what um, Eva was saying, I think it was, is that Poppets learned the thing where it's like at low percentage, you can sort of do the up throw, and it sort of frame traps them. Because mm. if they air dodge, you just down air. If they don't air dodge, then you just up air. <laughs> Very cool. Get like five seconds with full good now. You clearly know what Bob has been wanting. I just think, thinking, yo, swordsman swing sword. I am just going to. No take again. No. Poppet takes the tournament. Jeez, Poppet won one once again. Oh my GGs. word. Jeez. Mr. Poppet won. You gotta stop this menace. Yeah, it was kind of a very similar. 